Luis Dentinho, this is my friend and student Fong. Today I would like to demonstrate the guy the straight time lock from out, but with very special details. Please can lay it down here. So guys, the reason mount and back it is so effective and you gain more points in the in the in the tournaments and especially in the, in the IBJJF rules is because you can you can control lower body and upper body. Okay? So as soon as I mount, the first thing I would like to do is hook my opponent's leg and then control the head. So here I'm gonna be able to control lower body and upper body. So right here guys, the reason I, I hook his leg over there, he should don't let him bump the hip, okay? So that's why if I put my knee on the ground, I don't, I don't press his hip down. So I need my toes face up to the ceiling. So right here guys, I can drive my hip down. Now I need to be with, with the head. If his head is on the ground and that he have a, and that he's a strong guy, he can still bump the hip, no please? Okay? So, as soon as I control the head, this is one thing. Most of the people, they grab like this. He still can move the hip. Go, please. How can I stop his hip? My grip go to his shoulder, okay? The top of the shoulder right here. So now, I'm going to pressure down. Bump your hip, it's much higher right now. Because I'm taking his head off the ground, my forearm is off the ground. So control over the shoulder, don't control on the side or under the shoulder, okay? For you to neutralize his hip, make sure the head is off the ground. So I control right here. Once I control right here, automatically I'm putting a lot of pressure on his arm. So it's hard for him to close the elbow, okay? So right here, guys, I'm going to put my elbow on the ground using my shoulder. Now, I, I need to pass his elbow above the shoulder line. So right here, look, I'm going to open my elbow so I can walk in leverage. Okay? In Portuguese we call this alavanca. So, the alavanca right here. Most of the people keep their arm off the ground. Trap my arm, please, or, or fight. So look, it's too hard for me to progress from here. Come back. If my hand facing out, fight, please. It's too hard for me to go. So, okay, because my elbow is in the same line of his armpit. So, I don't have the leverage. I need my elbow in the same line of his elbow. Right there. Try to fight. Now I can walk. As soon as he's ever passed his shoulder line, is when I can let go of the shoulder, knock the ground, and then I collapse right here. Now I start walking to the other side. So here, look, I'm going to control the head. Now look, I can control his neck right here. How, how can I make this arm weaker? So he, if he fights right here, his arm is going to be too strong if his back is flat on the ground. So now look, I'm going to pressure his body to that direction. So I'm going to hook better the opposite hook, all right? And then I face my body to that side. Now look, there's a lot of pressure on this side too. Fight please, elbow out. Elbow on the ground, elbow off the ground. I don't have leverage. So I need elbow on the ground so I can use my shoulder. Elbow off the ground is arm against arm. I want my whole body against his arm. So I walk right here. Gable grip behind the head, okay? So now guys, I want you to progress. The elbow I, I have on the ground, this is the side I'm going to anticipate my knee. So toes on the ground, anticipate the knee. Now I will bring his head to me, okay? He's facing my chest, and then I start walking my opposite leg. One, two, I keep his upper body off the ground so don't let him bump the hip. Now look, I go to the hand, elbow up, hand on the ground. Now is another deal that's very important. If I just pass my leg, I, I don't have enough arm inside. So I'm going to drop my knee to the ground so you guys will see, look, his arm is complete inside with his shoulder. I'm going to keep my leg very tight. As, as soon as I pass my leg right here, I'm going to kick my, hip, my heel back. So here, I can still meet him with a lot of pressure. Okay, one more time. So I mount him, both hooks. In, knees off the ground, control the upper body. Control on top of the shoulder, all right? So right here, face your body a little bit to this side so you can fight against the arm. If I want to fight against this arm, I have to face to the arm. If I face like this, fight please, it's too heavy. Fight, no way. All right, you guys see the difference? Right here, fight please, too strong, not strong anymore. Elbow on the ground, face the head in, collapse. 
Control. Face into the other arm. Gabriel grip behind the head. Tight here, everything tight. Okay? Hands on the ground, knees to the ground. Pass the leg. Now it's just kick back. Alright guys. I hope you guys enjoy the technique. Don't forget you got to subscribe to my channel, comment, okay the technique, share with your friends and every week new techniques for you. Thank you. Peace.